Hi, I'm Bill, and what a wonderful chapter to be doing this Christmas season when we celebrate the birth of Jesus. Can you imagine? Fully God, yet he emptied himself to become a little baby, to be born in a stable and laid in a manger in the tiny town of Bethlehem. Compared to most of the cities and towns in that area, Israel was nothing. Yet God chose it out of all the others to be the birthplace of the coming king that was foretold from ages past and looked forward to and hoped for by so many. This little baby in Bethlehem is where the completion of God's plan for his people starts. The beginning of all the prophecies to be fulfilled in this one baby who would grow up to be the savior of the world by shedding his blood and dying on the cross for me, you, and the entire world. A king that removed his robes to become a humble man to show us who God is and what God's like. As I read this chapter, I see that it isn't only about the baby Jesus being born in Bethlehem. This baby king will grow up to be a man. He'll die for our sins. He'll be raised from the dead three days later to prove that his death was sufficient to pay for the sins of everyone, including you and me. Then he ascended into heaven, where he's seated at the right hand of the Father. But Micah tells us of the great king coming back, fully robed this time, setting all things right. He will put an end to the presence of sin and remove those who don't even want to be with him. There'll be no more witchcraft, soothsayers, or graven images, it says. The kingdom of God will be set up on earth with King Jesus on the throne. So in this blessed season, please don't let your joy stop at Bethlehem, but look beyond to the wonderful Savior he grew up to be and accept his free Christmas gift to you, eternal life with a great King that loves you and died for you. Just tell him that you will trust in him as Savior and Lord. It'll be the greatest gift you will ever receive in your entire life. Merry Christmas.